Hello again, I'm Pastor Nate Siles, Director of Tell. Welcome to Lesson 5 in the Tell Truth Brings Peace video series. You may find that reading the Bible can be confusing at first. In this lesson, you'll learn that Scripture, in and of itself, has the power to bring you peace, and our method of learning makes it easy to understand the truths of God's Word. So, let's start learning. Welcome to Truth Brings Peace, lesson number five. In this class, we'll study the Bible lesson from the book of Acts, chapter 8, verses 26 through 40, Philip and the Ethiopian. Our teacher uses the tell method beginning with T for think. Let's begin. Electricity, simply put, is the flow of electric current along a conductor. An electrician knows this, and he or she also knows the three primary electrical parameters, the volt, the ampere, and the ohm. This knowledge is used at work, but may be also shared with a neighbor in need. Offering guidance comes easy when it's a subject you know. The same is true with God's Word. Do you know it? Enough to share it with someone? Are you ready to share peace? Today, God's messengers can be motivated by popularity or money. But by understanding God's word for yourself, you will recognize the right meaning intended by Scripture. Our teacher continues to evaluate the meaning and context of the lesson. Philip is preaching the love of Christ, often called the good news, bringing peace to those with troubled hearts. Philip and the Ethiopian meet because God instructed Philip to travel the road to Jerusalem. The Ethiopian was an important businessman. He was on his way to Jerusalem to worship. He was reading the book of Isaiah. The problem was, he didn't understand it. The Spirit told Philip to go to the Ethiopian. The Bible says, Do you understand what you are reading? Philip asked. How can I? he said unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. The Ethiopian read, He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. Philip uses God's word to show the Ethiopian that it is Jesus that the prophet Isaiah is talking about. Jesus, the Lord and Savior. As the two continue traveling, they see water and the Ethiopian asks, What can stand in the way of my being baptized? By Philip's teaching, through the word of God, the Ethiopian comes to faith and by faith is moved to want to be baptized. Philip baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away, and the Ethiopian went on his way with true peace that was revealed to him through the Word of God. To learn the lesson, our teacher identifies the problem and the solution and applies it to your life. The main theme of the lesson is to use your knowledge of the Scriptures to teach others. Philip knew and shared the scriptures. In turn, the Ethiopian came to faith by the Holy Spirit. The Apostle Paul tells us in scripture, You have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. We fail to study God's Word, but if we remind ourselves that it is the only source for true peace, we may be more likely to want to read Scripture. We see God's love as He uses men like Philip to bring the good news of salvation to others. God's love is limitless, so much so that Jesus died on the cross to pay for all of our sins. We are forgiven. 
through the lesson, God teaches you to use scripture to strengthen and grow in your faith. We hope you'll lead family, friends and people you meet to join online Bible study. Please join us for lesson number six of the Truth Brings Peace course. You will be blessed and be a blessing to others seeking peace.